Today you join me at Burners Hall where I'm looking at spod rods. Now myself and Luke are currently on day three of a session on Burners Hall where fishing's been pretty slow but it's given us plenty of time to test out these rods from Wolf International. These are the spod and marker rods from them. Starting off from my right to left, your left to right, is the X, X3K and the X1K. Now basically this is from lower end to higher end but all from what we've discovered pretty similar in what they can do. It's just the slight refinements and uh, little adjustments to make the X1K that little bit more special than what you can get from the X3K or the X rods. Now Wolf International has been established by Richard Fox who is the third generation of the famous angling family and they've collaborated with Mark Tunley who's one of the UK's custom rod builders to come up with the X range. Now there is the whole fishing rod range of these rods but these are just the spod and marker ones. They've combined to give you a really sort of minimalistic look, really special looking and feel to them without being stupidly expensive and having to go down the route of proper custom rods. Starting off with the X model rod, you can get this in the 12 foot 4 pound or the 13 foot 4 and a half. Same with each of the rods I'm going to show you today, you've got the 12 foot option or the 13 foot option. Now this one's set to be around medium to long range cast and we found this one to be the slightly softer action of all the rods. Now still extremely good value for money, we're punching it probably over 100 yards, each of us were just giving them a try. But it is the slightly more forgiving of the uh, range. So if you're looking to get into the market of a spod rod, look for good value for money, then this could be the one you want to start with. Still punch a fair old way, but this is where we start to move up to the next one. You finally start to get a little bit more refined, but still packs a hell of a punch for what the price you're going to be paying for this. Moving on, we have the X3K. And the first thing I noticed when handling this compared to the X model is it's much lighter. And that's thanks to the different carbon that's been used. There's more modules in this as well, makes it much lighter, still just as strong and packs the same punch so distance wise you're probably going to be hitting the same sort of distances but this is much more refined so if you're using this repetitively over and over again you'll probably find this to be more consistent with your accuracy and less fatigue because it's lighter but again still packed out of a punch and the price range just slightly more than the x model but moving on we'll get to the x1k and lastly, we have the X1K. This is the 12 foot four pound model that myself and Luke have opted to use because when you're given a range of rods, of course you're gonna to choose to use the most expensive one. And it is very refined. It's been a joy to use and we found it very, very consistent in hitting the same ranges and accuracy and all things like that. That's because you've got even more modules still compared to the X3K, which makes it slightly lighter, again, crisper, more refined. So you're basically just working your way up. Some of these margins may be quite small to some people that aren't fishing very often so if you aren't fishing very often or not fishing at great ranges then sure the x model at the start is going to be perfect for you but if you're finding that you want to hit those extra yards be a bit more refined and make sure that you're hitting your spots perfectly every time then that's where these differences are going to really come in and be noticeable finishes are all fairly similar the one that stands out the most i would say is the x model with that slightly smoke gray almost finish with that cross weave all the way up but then the x3k and the x1k are very similar in the way they look with quite a matte finish anti glare and they've just got the black whippings around the eyes and the spigot just to give them that little fleck of uh, gloss up and down the rods now it's worth noting that there are also 10 foot models available in each of those ranges as well and prices start from 160 pounds RRP. So for more information, please head over to the Wolf International website, Wolf Int, and uh, maybe pick yourself one up as well. But that's all from me for now. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon.